angry, and that's when he's in a good mood. On first and 10, Tannehill. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 23 yards on the in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Nice call by the defense. Carr. Oh, he'll look downfield for Camara. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20. And they're there for New Orleans. And even 40 yards. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's right. easy for Now a play fake. Carr. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting. Card out of throw. That is caught. Traquan Smith, touchdown Saints. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints are able to answer the early three points and take a first-quarter lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. Such, but the two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the end. And drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much. And, you're... and he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Looks like a nine. He's left the NFL in carries and top 1,500 yards for the third time in four years. In addition, fifth straight year with double-digit touchdowns. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. First and 10. Running left, it's Henry. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. Not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Fourth down. Shot to their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum offense. First and ten. On play action, it's Carr. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. Opted to run for it, the decision is good. Because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? These guys running back out of the backfield. And the Saints are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six. Now points. receiver in motion left. Williams will score. Touchdown, New Orleans. You think back to 2022 with Detroit, Jamal Williams. Just unstoppable down near the goal line. 17 rushing touchdowns in the interior. Big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. Now the deep. On play action. Now Carr. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' twenty. Here's Carr to throw. Touchdown! Michael Thomas, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April. They got eight yards there. Yeah, come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. 
He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And he is going to go down. Now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. And the defense coming through on third Steve down. Charles, if they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, and now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball. And move defense the ball. certainly appears to be ready for them. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Now he's free at the 35. And finally marked down at the 23. It's an even 40 yards. I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go play calling. Don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Tannehill's throw here into the hands of Moore. First catch of the new season. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. And brought in downfield by Burks. And he's brought down. To throw is Tannehill. Buying time to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care Two. of them. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly. The city always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week one.